AMS 2140, Analyzing Transient Data. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the AMS 2140 to capture transient data using up to four channels plus phase. As we review these options, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. On the screen, you can see the AMS 2140 in transient mode and after having collected transient data. Here you see four transient waveforms on channels A, B, C, and D. Now we'll review the key functionalities on either side and on both the Alt-1 and Alt-2 pages. Let's start with F6 switch block type. There are four plots displayed on the screen but in reality, you have many more plots you can display by selecting F6 Change the Plots. I want Plot 1 to remain full transient. For Plot 2, I selected the waveform from Input A. Plot 3, I will choose the spectrum for Input A. I will disable Plot 4 for now. and then place the data in a stacked format. What is the difference between full transient and waveform? Full transient is complete raw data. Notice the red box here on the far left. Using the scroll keys shown here, you can move the box right or left over the raw data. From the location of the orange box, you see the waveform displayed above and the spectrum calculated at the top. Let's use the scroll function to move the orange box. From this moment in time, you see the detailed waveform and calculated spectrum above. When I toggle F5 Change Active Plot, you'll see the red box around the full transient display move to the waveform, and then the spectrum. This makes the spectrum our active plot. You can now use the arrow keys to change scaling. So now we have a moment in time on our full transient screen, the detailed waveform for that moment above and the spectrum above that. Here you can install a cursor and read the amplitudes. What is the difference between scroll right or left and page right or left? The functionality is very similar. In the waveform, scrolling moves the cursor 512 data points with each jump. Paging is a similar action, but instead of using 512 points, it is based on the settings in F1 Data Display Settings. Here you see it is set to 1,024 points or 400 lines of resolution. So in our example, one page in either direction is the equivalent of two scrolls. As you page or scroll over the transient data, the waveform and spectrum data will be displayed. F4 full screen removes the keys for a bigger picture. F7 Print Plot sends a JPEG or bitmap image to your printer. More options are discussed in the tutorial on print functions. F10 Go to Cursor. When you use the arrow keys to move the cursor to another location in the data, press F10 to see the associated spectrum and waveform. F11 and F12 expand and compress the horizontal axis allowing you to essentially zoom in or out on data in your active plot. This is an active plot, so I can expand or compress. When I change the active plot to the spectrum, expand and compress works on the spectrum. When I go to Alt-2, Cursor Home and Cursor End moves the cursor to the beginning or the end of the active plot. Clear Cursor removes the cursor from the plot. The AMS 2140 has advanced analysis tools for reviewing data in the field immediately after data collection. However, if you transfer the database to AMS Machinery Manager software, you'll have access to even more advanced functionality, and you'll be able to replay your signal in a near live mode. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com slash AMS 2140. Thank you for watching.
Thank you.